Greetings everybody. Making a video today to talk about the timeline going into 2025. Because 2025 is like a portal window where we anchor our timeline of ascension. And this is also why you see the dark forces in the world trying to create wars, to push false flag events like the whole needlecraft thing in 2020. This is why you see them trying to mess with the food supply and the whole number of things that they're doing. It's all constructed to cause fear and lower vibrations and suffering and negative outlooks to pull people's vibrations down so that they can get hooked in by this lower stuff. And so in 2020, 2025, you know, the Earth's magnetic field is rapidly changing. We have that coming, we have solar events coming, and so. There is this portal window that we're coming into soon. And so, as it moves on into 2027 and 2029, these are more portal windows, but 2025 is a big one that I've known about for quite some time. And so, we're going through a change of worlds, a bifurcation here. We're going through an ascension. We're going through the culmination of the procession. You know, and this is huge. And so just the fact that you're here incarnated at this time for this event is, is massive. Like so many souls want to be here. And so I would suggest people looking at it like this is such a great opportunity rather than focusing on the way the world looks, how they want you to look at it, to pull you off your center and hook into you. Just the fact that you're here incarnate is huge and super rare. And it's a gift because we come here. This is the opportunity to do the work while you're in a body because afterwards um, you can't do the work on the other side so realizing like this is you came here to do work to grow as a spiritual being to be a facet of creator source to be a responsible creator being to be able to master yourself self mastery to master your emotions your thought process your energy your actions, your words, all of it, to operate in love and be part of the solution, you know, while still holding the line simultaneously. So basically, we're going through a changing of worlds, and this is a great opportunity to do the work. And it's all about the perspective, you know, and this whole thing is about self mastery and becoming responsible. And because afterwards, once you, once you leave this body, you will have a life review in this realm of the gods. And if you, or the so-called gods, okay. And if you're sensitive and you know how to discern who's who, you'll tell the fake ones to piss off and then you'll be confronted by the, the real ones that are going to show you yourself in every aspect. Everyone you've ever in encountered, they're going to see you. You're going to see yourself through their eyes. You're going to see how you've affected people. You're going to see yourself in many different angles. And if you've been doing your work, then you pass through this realm. Okay, this is the Hall of Mirrors. So it's not about giving your power away to anything. It's about owning it and being an aspect of creator source yourself, a creator being also 
is about becoming a god. And I say that without the ego. I, I mean becoming a responsible creator being. That's what this whole thing's about. And this is the place to do the work. So, perspective, frequency, gratitude. Peace.